WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hanging around record territory. S&P's right now looking for a record close, up 15 points at 3,078. Got the NASDAQ right now up 54 points, trading at 8440. Dow Jones up 115 points, trading at 27,426. Let me see if I can get those charts up, charts up there. Maybe that'll send them, maybe. Looks like we're having some problems with the charts. Maybe they can pull it out of the den. Dollar index right now up 275 ticks at 97,514. Notes and bonds, we're getting some higher yield right now. The 10-year, negative 15 ticks, 129.17. The 30-year, negative a full point and seven ticks, trading at 159.13. And we're going to start it off with a chart of that 10-year yield. Friday, we close just above 1.71%. This Monday, we start things off. We're getting a yield of 1.7876%. Quite a run on that 10-year yield, and uh, that chart that you're showing there is stuck, so maybe if you can jump over to the DEN chart. Jumping over the charts, we'll start things off with the Dow, currently trading 27,397. We got quite a pop early in the day to 27,450. We've backed off a bit, but a pretty tame trading day so far, all things considered, as the market's just hanging near record territory. S&P 500. Currently trading at 3,079. We're about three or four points off the record territory that we reached at about 8.30 this morning. But from the volatility we've had recently, pretty muted day. I mean, you're talking about only about two to three S&P points. We've been jumping around since early this morning. Jumping over to the crude oil market, made it all the way up to 57.40. Crude at intraday, basically session lows. What was that low? 56.83 within a few pennies of intraday lows, currently trading 56.86. There's your gold contract, 15.09, made it as high as about 15.17 early in the day. And your euro US dollar catching some dollar strength, euro weakness, currently trading 111.33. The other two stocks making some big moves out there McDonald's as they lose their CEO. He uh, had a consensual relationship with an employee, but nonetheless, against the terms, he is ousted. McDonald's down about 3% on that turnover, and you want to talk about some fire. How about Under Armour? Down 16.7% as the news comes out. They are under investigation for accounting issues by the Department of Justice and the SEC. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up right now.